this is one of the very important module where you have to spend uh, close attention and you have to spend lots of more time in understanding the solver configuration and its complete advanced concept so before going to this solver basics i'll point out a couple of agenda here the fluent 15 gy navigation and all different protocol under that scaling the mesh selecting the unit selecting the material etc and couple of different advanced options which we'll be discussing so let us start with the fluent 15 gy if you see the graphical user interface of the fluent it will be something like this and here you have the problem set up at the top and complete flow uh, which uh, you can see here something like the general setup where you talk about your scale your check uh, report quality display configuration the solver base the pressure base method or the density base or the velocity formulation absolute or relative and the time is steady or transient and gravity you want to include etc and overall your unit system so if you see the gui the layout the general model material boundary conditions solver settings initialization and calculations and post processing so here you will see something like this so here you can see the model here you can see the materials and boundary conditions and here you can see the solution the type of solver the solution methods which you use and the monitors which i was discussing before so here you can configure that and next results you can see the graphics and animation plot reports etc so how you can configure that that you can directly look at this and scaling and meshing is very important because whatever your model scale here you have and your mesh was created in some different scale that compatibility you have to have let us say the particular view length unit here is in mm whereas here you are choosing something the convert unit as cm that directly does all the conversation and that conversion is very important when fluent reads a mesh file that is in m s h format that you have to understand and if you know this particular format directly you can use that so this is uh, something very important as a part of this mesh all physical dimensions are assumed to be in units of meters and if your model was not built in meter then it must be scaled if it is not then you can scale it and verify that domain extents are correct after scaling and you can see all these parts in your preview that is very important and also the corresponding other units that you can scale your temperature unit to the centigrade or kelvin or which particular unit or like that the time unit and the heat all the units you can set here and configure under define units so one important one aspect which you have to understand is the mks unit system is set by default if you can see this here so when you import it mesh under this workbench the mesh does not need to be scaled however the unit are set default as mks so you need to just confirm that is correct or not any mix unit system can be used if desired and by default fluent uses si and specifically mks system and any unit that you need to later set that you can do it and here is the text user interface all the time you can see this the different aspect of the configurations here you can directly read and get that so many advanced commands are only available through the ty the text user interface and press the enter key to display the command and once you press the enter key that command will be dis uh, displayed and that configuration you can specifically do it here and print can be run in a batch mode or scripted using a journal file so this all uh, command you can directly type at the command prompt and you can execute but just by enter and these are some advanced options which you can see directly here in your gui so this is known as a tui text user interface and next is mouse functionality you can also configure like the left middle right and proof so what it will do left mouse rotate or other functions so mouse button functionality depends on the chosen solver 2d or 3d 
and can be configured in the solver itself. So you can directly see the display mouse button and that you can configure per 2D solver left button translates or pans and middle button zooms and right button you can use for selecting and this is the 2D and when you go for the 3D solver the left button can be used for rotating about two different axes and middle button you can use for zoom and middle click on the point in the screen center point that you can use and right button you can use for selecting primarily so this is very important and middle button you can primarily use for the zoom and left button you can use for the rotate so this three different uh, functionality you can configure directly as far as material properties are concerned this is one of the very important aspect and you can configure your own material or you can use uh, from the database as well i'll be discussing that as well so fluent provides a standard database of material and you can also customize that based on your typical requirement and here you can see the properties must be defined for multiple materials or for the combustion or maybe for the thermal conductivity or for the radiation emissivity and absorptivity so here you can see the options here so under mixture fluid solid or particle that you can specify or you can go for user defined database or you can have a fluent database access here or you can user can customize and define his own database and here you can create your own database or you can delete if anything wrong you will create and as far as material database are concerned some of the default uh, you can say the database materials are available under this uh, fluent uh, database this uh, particular option so here you can have a fluid selection and then you can set the property and here you can see the density or you can see the cp the thermal conductivity and the viscosity all these parameters you can directly specify or you can edit this also or you can copy and you can change uh, if you require to introduce a different uh, type of material then this ca you can use and uh, copy and just edit the name and properties accordingly you can set and this is very important because this is known as the operating condition if you see this operating condition under this boundary condition when you select this boundary condition you will be getting this operating condition and under operating condition what is the operating pressure that you can specify and if at all you have the operating density or operating temperature that also you can configure and if you have a gravity effect in a particular direction in a y direction minus 9.81 because this is in the opposite of your positive y direction so these values you can specify to designate the gravitational acceleration and that directly can be done under operating uh, conditions and that is very important and handy while defining and parallelly also you can do multiple processing this parallel processing can be used to run fluent on multiple processor to decrease turnaround time and increase simulation efficiency so what is this parallel processing is basically for number of parallel processes that simultaneously you can run the local machine or if you have a series of machine where you are using in LAN that also you can use and this basically you can see the critical for cases involved for large mesh and so that you can share your work and fluent is fully parallelized and capable of running across most hardware and software configuration so in that case you can use and for domestic purpose you need not need to use this and you can use with a single processing protocol as well and if you have a shared a machine also you can use this option so that that also can be used